everybody, it's the Doll Circle, and I'm so excited. I know I say that every single time, but I really am this time, because <laughs> they have new dolls at Target, and unfortunately I didn't do a toy hunt because I happened to have the UPC number, and I called, and they had it, and I just went and bought it after work. So unfortunately I couldn't do a doll hunt uh, finding these dolls, but they're the new student exchange line, and so far as I know that they're only available at Target. They might be eventually available at other stores, but I'm not sure. I got it for $19.99, and this is a new character. Uh, this one is going to be Lorna McNessie, and it's supposed to be the daughter of the Loch Ness Monster. So I thought it was really interesting that they're not just doing uh, traditional like horror movies monsters, but they're doing like mythical monsters, or ones that um, different places, like they're also releasing the Bigfoot doll, which I did not get that one. I did get this one though, because this one I thought had, I just liked her coloring and the box packaging a little bit better. Who else did you get? I got two other ones that we will be reviewing, but this review is all about Lorna. I also got Laguna, so I'll give you guys a quick look at her. And gorgeous, and she's actually in Spain. And then Draculaura, which is in Japan. And this particular one I got also for Robin, and her and I together will be reviewing this doll. So this expect Robin and I to review soon. And then this one I'll be reviewing by myself. <laughs> and then today I'm reviewing Lorna. So let's show you guys the box. Now this is a completely different box. Kind of like how with Freaky Fusion last season, they did a cool cut type of weird design box. With this, they're copying the Ever After Highlight style boxes, where it's a piece of cardboard on the back and then plastic around the front. And then the way I'll show you the back here, you can peel the plastic out of the box and then you can take the doll out. So again, it's very much like Ever After High. And the box art is so different on the back. Like, this is the first time I've seen them do this, because normally Ever After High has, or excuse me, the Monster High dolls have the doll art here and then, like, the wording here. And now there's words down here and a huge picture of her face on the back. Different and new. I wonder if they're going to do this with all the Monster High dolls coming out now or just with the Student Exchange line. So if you guys know, let me know. I think so far it's just the Student Exchange. And I really like it though. It gives a close up of her face. Really beautiful box art. Really different. If you guys want, I'll let you pause this and read the bottom. Now, I think in her diary it's going to go in more in depth because the other boxes it would say her age and other stuff. Right here it just shows a little bit of her information, not all of it. And then I'll show you guys the side of the box here in a second. So, again, completely different look for Monster High right now. And the box has a lot of orange with it. And all the student exchange boxes are black and orange primarily. And then here's the side panel of the box, which of course has more box art of her, and then the Monster High emblem. And then this one has her holding a passport. So it's really different. I really like, again, how they, they're changing the box, trying something new with this. And then it has Monster High, again, this is cardboard inside of the box going down the side. And then her just in the box is just posed like every other uh, Monster High doll. And so far I love her coloring. I cannot wait to take her out. I cannot wait to review her with you guys. So again, that was a quick review of the new style boxes. And again, check out for the next couple days for me reviewing Laguna and Draculaura. Again, I didn't get the Bigfoot doll. Um, if you guys are out there looking for her, they come in a four pack of these. So it's the four in the series. So let's take her out and see what she looks like out of the box. I'm so excited. <laughs> Okay, so I got her in the packaging, and again, the packaging is exactly like the Ever After High dolls. So you just peel the plastic off and everything, like the stand was actually in the this part of the box, so I had to open that up. So it was pretty easy. Again, I, I like the other style of Monster High doll boxes, but I'm open to this style. I'm not against it. I don't know, I like the new style. I like, I like the art, but I like, I don't know, I like, I like the box. So let's review the doll, and I love it. It's so cool. And case was actually reading her little passport and she is actually shorter. She's only 14 years old and so she talks to Howleen and Twyla who are younger as well. So she's actually the same height as Twyla and Howleen in case you guys were wondering. And her hair, we'll start with that first, is in two different shades. Now the top has these really cute curls that have a lot of hairspray in it and it's like almost like a burnt strawberry orange, kind of matches my nails, and has like a really pretty light highlight in it. And then the back of the hair is a light orange with an even lighter highlight with no hairspray in it. So I thought that was kind of interesting how they gave her two shades. And then she has a traditional hat with the plaid on there because she is of course from Rotland or Scotland. So she has the traditional hat there with the plaid style and it is sewn into her hair. So you guys can remove it if you want to cut it, I'm going to leave it. 
And I like her skin though. It's like almost got like a sheen to it, like a glisten. It's kind of interesting. Kind of reminds me of Serena. It does. It has the same like almost translucentness about the plastic. I don't know if that's a good word to use. <laughs> but it's very, like I said, sheen to it because she is a, like a fish sort of or like a water mammal. So she has like that underwater type of like shine to her. And I love her makeup. Her lipstick matches her dress, has almost like a orange red color lipstick, a smoky eyeshadow on the top, and her eyebrows match her hair. She only has one earring, and I'm gonna give you guys a right profile here so you can see that she has one earring going around, kind of like Venus. Venus always has these earrings that wrap, so does she, and this is in black. Can you tell what that earring is? Or is it just like a vine? I think it's just like a vine. I don't know, let me pull a quick. Sorry, I might get blurry for a second here, guys. Um. I think it's just like a vine. Yeah, maybe like, I don't know, kelp or something? I don't know. It's kind of cute, but she only has one, though. Oh, oh we gotta refocus here. Sorry, guys. So just one earring on that Here, side. Get in front of her or behind her. Focus. <laughs> so like I said, just one earring. That, her was dress, not, though, that was totally not long enough. Yeah. Okay. Awkward posing. Awkward posing. All right, we're good. Now we're good. <laughs> and one thing I liked about her dress is that she has this really cool Celtic style belt going around the outside. And it's supposed to be like almost like a leather material, but of course it's just plastic. And then it has the red sleeveless with these little cute little bell sleeves sticking out on the side. And then the bottom, which is really cool, has hearts, red and blue, and has water in it, and it has these little swirls that are supposed to be Loch Ness monsters, which is so adorable. Maybe that's where her earring is supposed to be. Hold on a second. Yes, it is. It goes up like that. It's a Loch Ness monster. How cute is that? I didn't see that till now. But her skirt is adorable. And I'm going to show you guys, I'm going to lift her dress up, just because other people have shown her stomach before, and it is so cool. So I have to share this with you guys. So just like how G uh, Gina Fire has, like, dragon skin everywhere, and Viperine has snake skin everywhere, well, she has, like, fish skin everywhere, like little scales with little fins on her arm and little webbed hands, and, all, and also little fins on the side just, like, um, on her feet, like Laguna, which I'm going to leave her her bands because I don't want to lose them. But I'm going to lift her skirt up so you guys can see her belly, which is so cute. She has Celtic all over her belly, too. I was like, that's really a good design. So she has fish scales all down her legs and, like, a Celtic design on her stomach. That is so awesome. I really like that. I like that extra little detail that they add to the body. It really makes the dress or, like, season the doll more, um, I don't know, like, detailed and realistic. Well, not I like realistic, her tail. But Oh, here, I'll show you guys the tail. It is removable, just like, you know, like, any of the other animal, animals, any of the other monster high dolls that have tails on them. And look at it, it's so cute. It has a little fin sticking out the side. And then the one part that, of course, we love about monster high dolls is the shoes. Now, these are actually supposed to be, like, towers. So if you see, like, the, it is a wedge heel, and it's bricks going all the way down. So it's so awesome because it looks like a little tower. And the top has black bows on the front. So I'm going to give you guys a slow thing here. And her feet are small, so like I said, they're Halloween size feet, not like a regular Monster High feet. Of course, she does come with a stand, which is awesome. And she comes with a brush that they all come with. And here's her little itty bitty passport, which is just a piece of cardboard. It doesn't open up or anything, but it has a skelet, and of course it says passport on it. And then here's her purse that it comes with, which is the same color as kind of like her lipstick and her hair and stuff. And again, Celtic design, Loch Ness Monster on there. And it is functional, so let me actually open it for you guys. You can actually open it and it closes and then here's the back which looks almost like a basket design waffle iron or it does look like a waffle iron right now <laughs> i like it though i'm gonna put her little passport in there and i'm gonna show you guys her actual passport that it comes with of course it says rotland passport i love the coloring for it too really interesting and something that chase was looking at because he was reading this while i was taking the doll out when you open this up the first opening page is her passport so it has her image here, has her first and last name, has her like blood type and everything. I thought that was really cool. Like how it actually gave her a passport number, also gave her a citizenship, it gave her the date of when she got her passport and where she's from. So it's kind of cool. I like that. I like her little picture. She's so happy. Looks way better than my my passport picture, that's for sure. And then of course has the story like they all do inside of all of the Monster High books. And then the last page, which is the part that a lot of you want to probably know 
has all of her information. So her parents are, of course, the Loch Ness Monster. She's 14, so she's a little bit younger. Chase wants me to lean this up, but I can't read it for you guys. <laughs> so Chase can read it. Mm. Oh, it says her best friends and stuff. Her Again, her best friend is the... Marisol Coxie, which is the... Uh, new Bigfoot doll. And Gil. Which is random. And but I guess he's another fish person. And her so. favorite food is haggis. <laughs> and her least favorite school subject is art because she doesn't like to draw pictures. So she likes to be in them. So if you guys aren't familiar with the Loch Ness Monster, you should look it up. It's a mythological creature, of course. Or well, not really mythological. I guess it's just a myth. We'll just call it a myth. Because <laughs> people always claim they can see it in pictures, but they really can't see it in pictures. So, because it's not real, of course. <laughs> so it's kind of cool how they blended that story into this, where they're like, oh, she really wants to be in pictures, but her parents won't let her be in pictures. And if you guys watch any of, like, the Fox shows or any other TV shows that talk about, like, myth creatures, they always say, like, oh, they're in the picture, and then they're really not. So I like how they took some reality stuff into this. Kind of interesting. Good job, Monster High. I like that. <laughs> so comment below. What do you guys think of the new... Lorna McNessie. I like her. I really did. Like at first I was kind of like, eh. I saw the pictures like a couple months ago when they were like sketching her out and I was like, okay, she looks interesting, but I'll wait to see her in person. When I saw her in person, I was like, I have to get it. <laughs> so again, comment below. What do you guys think? As always, check out our Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And then also check out in the credits too. We also post our PO box if you guys want to send us anything. We do appreciate it. And I'll give you guys one more 360 of her really quick. The only thing, oh here, I didn't show you guys the back. Her hair is a little bit messy, and it's a little thinner than most Monster High dolls. That was another thing I noticed. But besides that, super cute. Love her outfit. The belt is removable from the dress. I'm trying to remember anything else that I missed. All right, well, I love everything about it. I hope you guys enjoy it. Good, happy hunting, you guys. Bye.